The animated Beauty and the Beast is an all-time classic, so you might be wondering why it needed to be remade at all. It's a fine question, sure, but perhaps it's missing the point of it. It's not like the animated film had many flaws to begin with, but for those who swear by the original, that's okay, because Disney isn't intent on banishing that fond memory, they're only seeking to add to it. Everything you loved is here, from the stunning vistas and melodic score to the tried and true story about looking past someone's outward appearance. Emma Watson is the embodiment of Belle, and her chemistry with Dan Stevens is off the charts. Luke Evans couldn't be better as Gaston, and the additional story elements from Maurice and Belle only serve to enhance the story, not convoluting. That goes for the music as well, with three new songs that perfectly intertwine with the classics that came before. Visually, the film is just as stunning, including the up-close shots of the Beast, who looks as imposing as you'd hope. The only time this is not the case is from the occasional far-off shot, which hits your suspending of disbelief for just a second before bringing you right back in. It would also be wrong of me not to point out that a classic, Classic, I tell you, line was omitted, and it was from your favorite clock, Cogsworth. Well, there's the usual things, flowers, chocolates, promises you don't intend to keep. In short, the film will only serve to add to your enjoyment of the original, and what is new here is done with full regard to the beloved animated classic. It's easy to get lost in the magic of Beauty and the Beast, so why wouldn't you? I'm Matt Mueller, and I'm giving Beauty and the Beast four out of five stars. <laughs>